In a military cemetery on a hillside in Jerusalem, they are burying their dead in a way Israel has not done for 50 years. Not since a national war of survival half a century ago has this country dug so many graves for so many soldiers in so short a time. And today the shock of it all gave way to unremitting grief. It was one funeral after another here, almost one every hour. The one we witnessed was of 21-year-old Afia Testa, whose tank unit was attacked on the Gaza border. With fighter jets threatening to drown out the eulogy, it's clear the sense of security they have cultivated here has been shattered in 48 hours. But it is, say, those mourning their friends, a moment that will bring unity to a divided Israeli nation. I believe that everyone here, those who, uh, you know, in the right side of the, the map and the left side, everyone wants the best for the country. It's, it's tough. We, not, we disagree about a lot of stuff. But in the end, we all want the best for the country, the best for the season. It's been um, quite a divisive year for Israel, do you think this will bring a sense of unity? Is that something that will come from this? I would say that this, always in times of complete crisis, there is unity. We'll see what happens after. Families destroyed by loss. It is what war does. And the overwhelming sadness is that on both sides of this seemingly unbridgeable divide, there is much, much more to come.